Hi, I'm Robert. Welcome back to another on the road video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. Stop. Before you begin any repair, unplug the appliance from the wall outlet. It is also recommended that you check for proper voltage. Today we're working on a KitchenAid top load washer. Customer's complaint was not agitating properly. We determined that the agitator dogs, which were the little gears inside the top of the agitator were bad. So we're gonna go ahead and replace those. The tools you will need for this repair are a 7 16 socket, ratchet extension, and ratchet. To begin, we'll open the lid and remove the softener dispenser from the agitator and then reach in and we will remove the cover cap for the agitator bolt and then we will take our 760 socket and remove the agitator bolt by holding one of the fins of the agitator and unscrewing the bolt And then you can start to pull up on the agitator as you loosen the bolt. Now the bolt is completely unscrewed and we'll slide the agitator up and rotate it out. Now that we have the agitator out, we're gonna turn it upside down and take our bolt and set that aside and separate the two sections of the agitator, the top from the base, by pulling off, using your feet to hold the bottom section down. Now we'll tip the top of the agitator over and bring out the agitator dogs and their housing. The dogs are pretty much shaped like dog's ears. That's why they call them agitator dogs and they simply slide out of these little hole slots in the cam here. And your dogs are removed. Now that we have a new set of agitator dogs, let's go ahead and install them. You wanna make sure that the outer curve or top curve lines up with that stop in the cam and each one has to go in exactly the same. If you try to put it in wrong, it's going to look screwy and it won't work right. Now that we have the agitator dogs in the cam, we're gonna reinstall the cam into the top of the agitator by turning it upside down and then feeding it into the top of the agitator and then turning the agitator over. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay the top of the agitator down, slight angle, and bring the agitator bolt up into the cam So now, when we rotate it over, I'm gonna bring it down. Line everybody up. Now we'll reinstall the agitator assembly by rolling it into place and bringing it down on the gear case shaft or transmission shaft. And we're just gonna back up that bolt till we hear it pop, like I just did, and then we'll screw it down. 
once you see the agitator start to turn, that's when you want to grip it, grip the agitator and give it another crank down about a quarter of an inch, quarter of a turn, I should say. Now with the transmission bolt snug down, we can reinstall the cap. You're just going to feed it down in and then lift the other side to allow it to drop levelly in place. And you'll hear a slight puck or kind of a clip as it seats in place. And then we can reinstall our softener dispenser, place it on top, just give it a little pop to lock it in place. And that completes the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.